everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I want to share with you Elizabeth's 18 months update. And a lot has changed. A lot has changed since our last update. We're here on YouTube. <laughs> I just wanted to come back and share all the changes that happened. As you can see, she's trying to talk a lot more. Um, she's not saying any actual words yet, but she's trying her best. So one of the first things that I will mention is her teething. Last time I did an update like this, I believe she only had uh, four or six teeth with her. Right now, all of her teeth are forming. She has been having a lot of um, days where she does come sick or grumpy and that's only because of her teething. Uh, the pain really hurts her, it bothers her a lot. So she randomly starts crying at times and that's when I know when she's teething. Other than that, she has all of her teeth and she's been doing great with teething. She's almost done. She's running everywhere. Um, she has this funny little walk and that little run where she does it. It's just very cute to see her run a lot. Right there when she said bye is because when she hears a loud vehicle that's just passing by through our apartment, she usually waves by at them. She is learning how to throw a lot um, when we give her a ball or a toy. She throws it and she wants us to give it back to her and she'll throw it again just for fun. As you saw earlier, she's not talking yet. She is just doing a lot of baby talk and she's not saying the actual words yet. She used to before. For some reason, she just stopped saying it. We're patiently waiting for her to talk. We do try to talk to her both English and Spanish, but since we are talking to her in both languages, it is harder for her to understand and to like capture the, the language that she chooses to. So right now, um, I, am, I talk to her mostly in English, so she knows both English and Spanish, but I prefer to her to speak English first than Spanish. She is understanding a lot of things that I'm saying. If I tell her, do you want teta, then she'll know it's her bottle. When I say, you, you're gonna pee pee, she knows when to go to the restroom, when it's to, time to bath, um, she'll know when to grab her towel and etc. And her curls are more defined at this time. Elizabeth is getting sleepy on me, so she's gonna just lay on my shoulder for now. But um, since the last update, her curls are more defined. She has more curls on her hair, and they're get her hair is growing a lot longer. It's not long enough to for me to put a ponytail on her. And she got the curls on part of her dad's side. Um, her dad's mom actually has curly hair when she was young so she got him from her. Elizabeth likes to give a lot of hugs out um, especially to Alex and I. Uh, she does hug a lot every morning. She comes to me and she lays down with me and she waits for me to fully wake up and then she'll just hug me and she'll try to cover me with her with her little stuffed animals or with the blanket. I stopped bathing her in a tub where I used to bathe her before. Elizabeth does like to shower with me. I used to bathe her in a tub since she was a newborn but now that she's old enough to stand up then we'll shower together you want to that? so Elizabeth is gonna be back here um, getting ready to take a nap she's drinking her bottle of milk well I'm distracting her right now with a Monsters University movie so I'm gonna continue with uh, the updates on her every time I show Elizabeth her towel she will know it's time to shower she is still using her newborn pacifiers it is hard for me to get her to use the 18 month pacifiers. We're still in that process of changing the pacifiers because they are damaging her teeth. Her top teeth are having a curve. She is still using a bottle. She doesn't like using a sippy cup. We tried giving her different sippy cups and she won't take them. The only sippy cups that she'll take at times is the one with the straw. In order for us to get her to eat, from a plate, she has to eat out of our plate. So I have to hold her next to me and I have to feed her my food or I have to pretend that I'm enjoying my food. It was hard for me to feed her cereal. In order for her to eat the cereal, she would have to taste the milk from the from the spoon. So she wouldn't take it. So I have to keep her still and make her at least taste some of the, some of the milk that I was trying to give her. And then once she'll find that flavor, 
similar then she'll eventually eat it and sometimes Elizabeth won't take her medicine um, there is times where she does she doesn't put up a fight she just tries to avoid not to drink the medicine when it's needed but we know she likes the medicine we know that she will take it with no problem so what we try to do is um, we try to get her hands out of her face because that's how she's trying to avoid it we don't try to give her the medicine by force instead we take her medicine close to her lips and we let her taste it that's easier for her to recognize what she's gonna drink so when she tastes it she'll take the medicine with no problem and then she'll just let us give her the rest of the medicine without using any force on her Elizabeth is a chunky baby and she is four pounds overweight the average weight that she needs to be right now is at 26 pounds and because she is a chunky baby we don't get her clothes that are 24 months or 18 months we instead, I get her clothes that are at least 40. Her clothes are always shrinking all the time with every wash, so I do try to get her the clothes that are, are double her size. That way it's a lot easier and her clothes last a lot longer. Oh. Elizabeth right now is in a stage where she wants to have friends. The kids that are usually outside playing are kids that are already five, seven years old. The kids are a lot older than her. She doesn't have any baby friends to play with, but she does want to have friends. She tries to make friends with the older kids, but the older kids usually don't pay attention to babies at her age. They um, get more picky with their toys. So I let Elizabeth play on her own or I play with her here in the room and we try to make the best out of it. She enjoys playing with baby dolls. Um, every time when I show her a baby, then she'll try to give the baby her pacifier or she'll try to uh, feed the baby with her own bottle. And it just, I think it's really cute how she enjoys playing with the baby doll. Lately, she has been wanting to wash dishes with me. Every time when I'm washing dishes, she likes to scoot a chair next to me. She can't do it by herself, but I eventually put a chair right next to me where the sink is and I put her on there and she starts playing with the water or she'll start putting the spoons where they belong. And it's just really nice to have her help me in a way to clean dishes or to clean around the room. Especially now that I'm pregnant, she does want a lot of attention for some reason. She's sensitive at this time. Alex and I believe she's sensitive because of our pregnancy. So we do try to give her as much attention as we can. And we're enjoying our time with her before the second baby comes. You can see Elizabeth fell asleep on me and I'm just gonna let her take her nap for the rest of this video. Right now, Elizabeth, when she wants something and she can't get it herself, uh, for example, if there's a teddy bear on a bed and she can't grab onto it from where she's at, then she'll take my hand or my finger and she'll point it at the bear and she'll want me to grab it. So when I grab the teddy bear, she starts clapping like, hooray, yay, and we end up clapping back at her for grabbing the bear. So she's constantly doing that right now with many items in the house. Elizabeth does not know how to kiss. I do try to get her to kiss my cheeks or to kiss one of her baby dolls and she won't do it. Instead, her way of kissing my cheek is if she puts her cheek against mine, that's her kiss. But for her to actually make that sound, she won't do it. Instead, she'll just put her cheek against mine and that's enough for her to call it a kiss. Before I forget, Elizabeth is also scared of fireworks. We didn't think she was going to be scared of them. I thought she was going to be excited when she would see a firework. I have to close the windows for the sound of the firework it won't be as loud as it is. That's pretty much it for my 18 month update and thank you guys for watching this video. If you found this video helpful then please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this video then feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!